when I apply a constant pressure, you can see that it always there's some resistance, then it moves here easily, and then I'm reaching resistance again, and then I have to overcome this, and then it moves freely again. And if so, if I apply like a bit of constant force, you can see it always like stops. And maybe you can also hear it in the sound. I I feel at least vibration. So I I slightly put a bit of weight on top of it, and there's like complete vibrations, like as if as if the ball is not perfectly round. If I lift it, so if I put give pressure from below and move it, it's pretty smooth. There's um, no bearing, kind of like having an imperfection. So I f feel like it's the front right one here uh, with with the broken bearings or so. And is that the problem? Should that be fixed? Should that be replaced? Or does this not matter? I want to show you something. I did some research last night. So as you know, yesterday we had this problem that one of the bearings was like rattling, had some vibrations. If you put it onto the onto the metal rod uh, here, um, you know, and, and, and you moved it on the slider, there were some crazy vibrations and then we used a different uh, bearing from a future assembly. Yeah, we exchanged them and used that because that one was running smoother. And then I thought, okay, if that one is kind of like broken, maybe I should already uh, order a replacement part, right? Makes sense. So I looked on the Prusa website and saw a replacement, two euros, okay, thought about buying a couple, you know, maybe not all of all of them are kind of bad or something. So I uh, thought about doing that. <laughs> also noticed that it has like one review with one star. Quality of the bearings is terrible now. So maybe this is also, um, you know, one of the issues I had. But yeah, then I thought about buying it. But the problem is, of course, it's shipping from um, uh, from the Czech Republic. Is that what the country is called? Yeah. And uh, yeah, sh shipment is then like a couple of euros. So I didn't want f only for these replacement parts. I didn't want to order. Uh, if I had like lots of mo a bigger order that I wanted to do, then uh, it would have been fine. But I thought about like ordering them right away. So I went onto Amazon and I saw you know you can just search for these bearings and they come up here and there are these uh, very cheap ones like 10 for 11 euros like the cheap knockoff ones and then there are the Misumi the more expensive ones and they are really expensive like four cost 30 euros so I thought damn that's a lot of money for a replacement and then I thought ah oh, let's just get the cheap ones um, you know if two of them are uh, good. It's still cheaper than um, uh, than 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 the high quality one, and the high quality one could also have an issue, right? So I thought about this, but then I did a bit more research and I went onto the Prusa forum and just want to see if other people had the similar issue and if they have like solutions for it. And so uh, I, I typed in linear bearing and I started reading some of the threads and issues that they have. And that's when I started to learn about replacement bearings and alternative bearings. And so uh, they started talking about here, um, first of all, about Misumi. So apparently this is the better brand. So that, 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 that's something I learned. And then another thing I learned about is that there, there are these Igus plastic uh, bearings. The Misumi ones are way better, more consistent, as far as I know. Yeah, so that's ba what what I was base, um, what I was inferring from the forum as well that they are like the higher quality and more reliable uh, bearings. Um, yeah, but then I learned about these Igus plastic bearings, and then I started like looking on YouTube, and that's when I learned about that there are these plastic bearings that don't need any. Um, that don't have any balls inside, like they don't need any lubricant, and they are so much quieter. Ring, 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 does that ring a bell? That of course immediately hooked me. So here is a, a short video showing you the different sound of, an, of the original bearing and these Igus plastic bearings. Before, oh. after. Okay, yeah, I think now you heard it there. These ones are super silent. So I started researching and I read more about the fo on the forum. Um, and that's when I noticed that when you search for these uh, LM88U on Amazon, 
that's why they also came up. You see, like these are a result as well. And I thought, okay, that's something unrelated. That's like irrelevant. I, I'm interested in those, but they show up because they are actually uh, replacement bearings that some people use, these, these pl just plastic ones. Uh, so I started researching a bit more and I learned that they are kind of like self lubricating and uh, like, uh, like all that stuff. But uh, one problem is that they have a lot of wear. So um, when you use them on the, the rods provided with the, the original Prusa rods, then they wear out a lot and they start to wiggle. I mean, it will not happen immediately, of course, but uh, there will be a little bit of wiggle, um, but they are quiet. Um, and then the second thing I learned is that these um, plastic uh, bearings, they are not meant to be installed like this. They are meant to be press fit into a hole. So you have a big assembly, a machine or something, and you have pre-machined holes where you then push them in at, with press fit, which makes their tolerances a lot tighter. This way, they like their tolerances are not perfect. Um, and also they are, I think, as far as I read, a little bit too small in diameter because they are intended to be, you know, press fit into something else. Uh, so um, you would maybe have to print a casing for them or, it, yeah, if you install them like this, they will wear out quickly and they will wiggle a bit. Again, still quieter, but probably you have to replace them quite often or so. But then I read a little bit more and then I learned about alternative Eiger bearings. And I read about that uh, and that's when I learned that there are also uh, you, you can do a full IGOS conversion, including IGOS rods. Um, so the, you have the plastic bearing, including the, the IGOS um, aluminum rods. And so the material now matches and, the wear, and they don't wear uh, that out that much. Uh, so uh, I was scrolling here and then somebody listed what you need here. So you need 10 of the bearings and then you need, you know, the six different rods. Um, and here they are. So these are the, these are now the alternative bearings and they are enclosed already in an alu al aluminum adapter. Uh, so, um, you know, they, they don't have this issue that they are intended for press fits. They, they work apparently fine like that. And then you also need the, um, and, and you need to be careful here. You need to select the, the eight millimeter. And then uh, also here is the aluminum shaft for it, uh, which matches, it. They, they are intended to be used uh, with these uh, IGUS bearings, um, also in eight millimeter, and I ordered them in, the, in a various sizes. The total bill was not $200, it was a bit cheaper, it was like, but it still was like 100 euros or so, I believe. So like half of half the price here. Uh, but yeah, it was quite expensive. Uh, and because, you know, I'm very noise sensitive right now, I, I, I didn't even question myself. After like having done this research, I just decided, yep, okay, I ordered this, let's go. So uh, that's the state. However, I do want to like finish uh, building in the current form. Like I want to have a good comparison. Like if I invest this money then, and because there are not that many uh, videos about this. So when you search for this on, uh, on YouTube, like you would hope that people have like good comparison videos about this, but look, this, this is like the using these other, the, the, the press fit version bearings four years ago. Um, uh, yeah, all of them are using these, cheap replacement bearings that, that are not really intended. And I didn't see like a video of exactly this like complete IGUS uh, upgrade, including the, the rods and the alu casing. I guess this one here is the one with the uh, aluminum casing. Uh, but yeah, so, so I thought, oh, there's not really a good comparison video uh, about this. And so I thought, hey, yo, you know what, this is worth it. So we built the printer as it is with the parts that came it. And then I will record, you know, some experiments. I also have bought the decibel meter, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, to measure the noise and stuff. So uh, we, I can make some measurements and, and so forth. And then we can do the upgrade uh, once the parts arrive. Um, and uh, see how much it actually affects the different noise stuff. And then I can, you know, edit that into a, a video for like live underflow or something for a second channel. And then hopefully it, it's like useful for the community uh, in, in the sense that they see this is a good um, uh, 
option or a bad option or if if you know the cost benefit is is worth it for the people you know like having a proper review video that that can help people like i'm in this position now you know i think that would be cool so so that is my current plan